Why don't agents make the calls? I just, I don't get it. It's, it's a huge frustration and today I've come here to vent on my YouTube channel. <laughs> my name's Chad Leonberg and I'm a real estate agent, team owner, and digital marketer. And I have helped hundreds of agents hit six figures in real estate using some very simple strategies. If you're interested in any of those or like a free training, feel free to jump on a call with me or check out my info below. Uh, and let me know in the comments, do you make your calls? Do you follow up with your leads? Are you in contact with your database? When's the last time you did? Did you call 30 people this week? I'm curious what your uh, making the calls situation looks like. All right, so I have met a lot of agents and you know we've done well in real estate. We're a seven time icon um, agent at, at eXp Realty. We run a team, sells over 100 homes a year for the last, I don't know, seven or eight years. Uh, we've done really well. And you know we've got agents that are jealous of the lifestyle or the business that we've built and then they still don't make the calls. I tell them what to do. I tell them, you know, I even have a whole system on how to categorize your leads as hot, warm, and cold, and you know, who, who, how often you should follow up based on which one you categorized as, and they still don't do it. So, you know, making, making the calls or even sending text messages, you have to be prospecting somehow. No form of lead generation is immune from you doing something more than you would do in your normal day travels. This idea of business falling in your lap, a magic CRM, a magic drip campaign, a magic mentor, a magic payment that you make and you'll just sell real estate does not exist. Whether you are cold calling, uh, working internet leads, working your sphere, you still have to reach out and have at-bats, have conversations. And a lot of times you have to trigger those. You have to initiate, you're hijacking the process. Even if you have somebody who's a referral or a sphere of influence, you know, person that, that's come to you, you are basically, they've decided they wanna do this and you're kind of just getting in the middle of their process and helping them out because they do need a trusted advisor, right? But Otherwise, what, what happens in any other kind of purchase this, or a lot of other purchase decisions in different industries? They go to the store, they just go and buy it. They don't need the middle person. So you're kind of hijacking to show your value. You have to hijack. You have to be in front of them. You have to show the value. But most importantly, you have to make deposits before you can make withdrawals. That's something I've heard a lot uh, from a lot of people that I follow, and I never fully understood, but it makes, it makes total sense. Um, before you can withdraw the ability to make money from these people, you have to make deposits of value so they see you as an expert, as a person that they want to use. But anyways, one other reason I think that a lot of agents don't make the calls is they don't know what to say. So I've always struggled with this because I guess for me personally, I, when I don't know, I just, I just research till I find it. You know, it's like if you're motivated enough, you'll just figure these things out. Um, I do think after a lot of experience with agents, that's a little bit more unique to myself. I'm just a major, major problem solver. But that said, here's your option. Go Google scripts, go to your um, brokerage chat or app or whatever community you have or Facebook group of real estate agents and just ask what they say. Um, get examples. There's also, ask chat GPT, ask the AI. There's a ton of um, real estate drip campaigns out there. there that you can, you can just download for free, just Google, you know, and study them and make them your own. You know, but ultimately, I think if, if you wanna take some value from this video, this is the simple structure you can have for a conversation. Ask questions that spark conversation. Ask questions about their home search and ask questions about their why. You know, get, get details on their home search and also ask why they're making the move. You wanna get them to talk. Now, when we do this on a single phone call, how we structure this is kind of ask questions, ask questions, ask questions. I have a four-step buyer call that I kind of go through. And the first part is the opening is where you just ask questions and shut up. Ask questions, shut up, until they start into their story. Well, we're just thinking, or well, I'm looking for this person, or well, this, or whatever. When they start into their story, you shut up and you listen and take some notes mentally because they are giving you how, not really just how to sell them, I mean they are, but they're giving you how to help them. They're telling, they're, they're, they're spoon feeding you on how to help them. So puking on people, you know, is never going to work. You have to ask questions so then you know how to make the value deposits. So the simple question could be, you know, what are you looking for, beds, baths, etc. right? So three beds, two baths, 500 to 600K. Cool. Go in your free time, you know, they're just browsing but they told you what they're looking for. You got that criteria, you asked the question. Go in your free time and look up homes and recommend them. Give them a list, let them know, do it frequently, make a task weekly. I have a whole system for this, but it's not rocket science, okay? 
And when you're also asking about their why, you know, maybe they want to be closer to family or maybe um, they want to move to warmer weather or, you know, whatever. Their why, that's the real reason they're going to move. So the more you can discover that, get in touch with that and help them fit that why, the more likely they're going to work with you. Um, that's the emotional factor. The, the, the criteria is the logical factor. The, the why is the emotional factor. So you really got to get in tune and ask questions. So if you are not following up your leads, whether you're texting or calling or your sphere or whoever it is, get those two things, ask questions on those once a week, every week, right? Hey, why are you making a move in real estate? What's led you to click on this link, you know, to look at these homes? What is, um, why is your home for sale by owner and not with a real estate agent, right? They're going to tell you what agents don't do. And then you have the ability to say, well, cool. I do do these things that make up for that. And I would never do the things you're saying. They're going to spoon feed it to you, but you have to have at bats. You have to have conversations. This whole idea of magic pills and business falling in your lap just doesn't exist. Uh, uh, any agent that has success that you're potentially jealous of, they've probably done the work. Even the ones that have a big local sphere and you go, oh, well, they're just that person. So that's why they were able to walk in and get this much business. Yeah, they have those people, they have those at bats, but they also made use of them and had the conversations that you're currently not having. Also, another thing I could say is if you're hearing, I need 25 conversations a day, or I need 10, or I need whatever. If you have some big number in your head, one thing that I never did very early on as a leader, and one thing I never really did with myself, was lower the bar until you get into a good rhythm, right? You're not gonna go to the gym and go lift 300 pounds, right? You're gonna start at 50, 60, 70 pounds and work your way up. So, you know, lower the bar and just get in a good groove. You have to find a good system because if you don't stay consistent at it, it's pointless. You can go follow up with 100 people this week, but if you don't consistently do that with those people and with the new ones that you get, you're not gonna go anywhere. So as much as follow up is important, you need to kind of start slow and get and find a good groove, find a good time frame, find a good time when you can be focused, when your head is there, find a good time um, when there's not a lot of distractions or noise around you, when you have that time to prospect, get your groove down, get your tech system together, get that stuff. And uh, also to all this, if you need help, if you need a system, I have a client active nurture kind of download. There's a Google sheet and a pen and paper that you can put all your clients, your actives, your nurtures, what those mean. I have an explainer and everything. Shoot me a message or jump on a call with me and I'm happy to give you that for free. Um, totally for free. I just sent it out to you. I have an explanation video and the whole download on how to use it. So definitely get in touch with me for that. So if you're an agent out there and you want to find success in real estate, you've got to get on the phone. You've got to get on the phone. You've got to get on to, I don't care what your lead source is or what your prospecting method is. You need more of it. You can never have enough at bats. You can never be in, and, and it's, you've got to remember the best form of communication as well. In person, you're going to build the most rapport. It's the best one. But if you can't get that, then you get phone. That's the next best rapport builder. And if you can't get that, then you do text, right? Um, video messages are solid to bring into the equation as well, but they are very unilateral. You're not having a conversation. You're not talking with somebody. You're talking at somebody. That's one negative um, about those, but they can be better than a text message because people can fully understand you and resonate with you and build rapport with you. Um, so those are my tips. I, I, I didn't mean to, I, well, I did mean, but I, I didn't necessarily want to come on here and have a big rant, but I just, um, I, I see it every day. I see agents that don't make the calls or make the, you know, make the attempts, make the at bats. They don't get there. And I'll be honest for a lot of you out there, you would have so much more success if you simply just did those actions. If you just followed up with your potential prospects or sphere of influence or past database, you name it. So anyway, I hope that was valuable to you. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out uh, or schedule a call with me if I can help you in any way at the contact info below. But thanks for tuning in and we'll see you at the top.